Hi folks, I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. One of the strongest ways to install shelves in a bookcase, like this one, or a cabinet project, is to fit them into dados in the sides. But in order to do that, the dados need to be cut perfectly straight and to the exact width of the shelving material you're planning to use. And when I was building this bookcase, I also needed my shelf dados to stop right here. Now those can be tough cuts to make accurately with a table saw and a dado blade. So for stop dados like these, I reach for a simple to make slotted dadoing jig for my router. Here's the one that I actually used for making that bookcase project. It has a broad platform to support my router's base with a slot running down the middle that fits a one inch outside diameter rub collar mounted in my plunge router. The jig's base piece rests against the edge of my bookcase or cabinet side panel and it squares this long slot relative to the panel when I clamp it in place. And if you look here, there's an even deeper slot cut into the base and that's made by the actual router bit you'll use with the jig. It'll show you the exact position your router will cut the dado slot so it's a super handy index for setting up this jig accurately. And once the jig is clamped in place, this slot will make sure that my router can't drift off course when I'm cutting my dados because the rub collar can only go in one direction, straight. So you'll always route dados with confidence, whether you're building a bookcase or another shelving project. In this short video, I'll show you how to build one of these jigs. Start by cutting two six inch wide platform pieces from half inch thick MDF or plywood. I made mine 26 inches long, which will allow the jig to cut dados up to about 18 inches. But you can make the platforms however long you need them to be for your projects. As you already know, you're gonna need a base for your jig. Make it from three quarter inch thick scrap that's three inches wide and exactly 13 inches long. You're also going to need this 13 inch long bridge piece. It supports the platforms at the far end of the jig. I made mine two and a half inches wide. Start assembling the jig by brad nailing or screwing one of the platform pieces to the base piece, flush with its end. Attach the bridge piece in the same way to the other end of the platform, but this time to its opposite face. Now we need to fit the jig to our router's one inch outside diameter rub collar. This will be the dedicated size that you always use with this jig. So for this next step, grab a steel rule or a scrap of wood that measures exactly one inch wide. I'm gonna set the second platform piece into position here. And then take my one inch outside diameter rub collar and fit it between the platform pieces over the base. Now I'm going to take my steel rule and slide that between the platform pieces on the other end under the bridge. That establishes our one inch slot. Now clamp the second platform in place carefully, making sure that the slot doesn't change. Then nail the parts together to secure the second platform. And if you've built your jig carefully, your rub collar should slide along this slot without any extra play. And with that, there's just one last step you need to do before your slotted dadoing jig is ready for use. Install a bit in your router that you plan to use with the jig. I've got a 23 30 seconds inch diameter straight bit in mine. It'll cut a dado that's the perfect width for today's undersized 3 quarter inch plywood. Now install the rub collar and set the router for a 5 8 inch deep pass. Route a slot across the base of the jig on top. Put a piece of scrap wood in front of the base underneath to keep the bit from splintering when it exits this cut. And now you've got a bit indexing slot to show you exactly how to line this jig up when you're cutting dados. That's all there is to building it. Oh, and one other thing. It's not a bad idea to write the size of the rub collar and the bit size right on the jig so you'll remember what to use with it later. These jigs are my favorite way to route dados and I hope you'll like yours as much as I do. And if you like to look at that bookcase at the beginning of this video, you can find free downloadable plans plus a complete video to show you how to build it 
by visiting woodworkersjournal.com. And to learn more about the router you've seen in this video, visit tritontools.com, a Rockler store near you, or rockler.com. Thanks for watching.